having our first day of Christmas this year and I am so excited. So I have a whole lot of fun things planned this year and I really, really hope that we can find a capsule wardrobe for me in a sense, but I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm at a different thrift store than I normally go to, so hopefully there's some new things that I haven't quite thrifted over, but we'll have to get in there and just start thrifting. I feel like a safe place to start for me is in the shoe section. Chelsea boots, some black heels, like this is pretty similar to what I'm looking for, but just black. I really want to get them because I feel like they're just a staple with any outfit. I found some white ones, but they are really cute. They're just too small. They're also not black. I already have white boots. Okay, not much luck in the shoe section today, but that's okay. Now, I think we should just head straight to the pants section because I really want to find some pants. Specifically, some beige or off-white trousers would be nice. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I also will be announcing my five scrunchie giveaway winner at the end of the video as well. Cap, there's really no rule of thumb when it comes to like building your own capsule wardrobe. But for me, I'm personally trying to stay more in the neutrals because I feel like neutrals are just really easy to match with anything in your wardrobe. I'm looking here, I have a few different ideas of things that I've been pinning and like have really inspired me and I'm just kind of grabbing things that I think I can possibly match. The whole point of this thrift miss this year is to try and come away with one thing every day. I have a few things in my cart already and I think I'm just gonna go try them on now and then narrow it down to one thing from today's thrift trip. Okay, so one of the first pieces of clothing here I have on are these like trousers that I found. They're definitely just way too big. Like I, they're just too big and that's too bad because I'm trying to find a really nice pair of like classic trousers that I can wear to work, that I can wear out if I wanna feel fashionable. And then I also found this jacket, which I was going for like a draped jacket look, which is exactly that, but I didn't really like the way that this one fit. I also did not like the material of the jacket, like I did not ha like how it felt when I touched it, it just wasn't something I really enjoyed and it just didn't look that great on me, at least the outfit that I was wearing. I really like how these jeans fit. I think this is exactly what I'm looking for. I just actually wish they had them in one size larger, which is crazy because I never usually want to size up. <sighs> kind of disappointed, but I do like how this like classic straight slash boot cut look is. And this jacket is literally probably at the number one spot right now. I really do love it and it's that like double that looks so classy. I just don't know how I feel about the color. I feel like that's gonna be a harder thing to match, but I don't know, it's so nice. It's so classy. It's also 50% off. I hope it's not too hard of a decision for me today. Here's some at waist boot cut, which actually fit pretty well, I think. I mean, I think I would be okay going up one size if I really wanted to. Like these, these are good at the waist. If I did go up one size, I think it would be too loose at the waist. These are pretty nice and classic and I like the dark wash. I feel like those would be a good interchangeable pair. These are the last pair of jeans that I have and they are a, I think they're a flare to be honest. They're corduroyed, which is really nice. The only thing is, these ones are definitely a size too small. Probably a no. So here is my Canadian tuxedo at the moment, but I did find this really nice denim shirt, which it's kind of growing on me. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel because I've never had a denim shirt, but I have heard that like, they're kind of a capsule, they're kind of a statement. So I figured if I see one, I'll try it on and determine if I want that in my statement or not. My light like, capsule wardrobe and okay it's like really growing on me but I don't know I don't know when I first put it on I was like mm, probably not but it could have just been because like these jeans I probably wouldn't specifically wear with it but it is kind of growing on me 
but I'm not sure. I still think as of right now, I'm still sold on this jacket for my one piece, but let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on a denim shirt and if this is, if this is something that will stay relevant in my wardrobe. Here is the linen shirt that I found, which is pretty nice. I mean, I think it'd be good for like the summer. It's very lightweight and I think it would keep me cool most of the time. Not a huge fan of the sleeves. Kind of get a no from this one, but I do think it's nice. I kind of just tied it in the front because I don't really know how else to stop it. Here's another button down that I was looking at and I do like this one. I like the pattern. I don't mind the sleeves. I just think it's too big. <laughs> it, it is in a medium and I'm usually a small, so especially up top. <laughs> I just, I think it would look better if it fit me perfectly. Like again, it just feels a little bit too baggy for what I would personally want. And again, these are pieces that I want to keep in my wardrobe, so probably a no. But I do like the pattern and I do like the like style of the shirt. Okay, here's the last button down that I found and it's another linen shirt again. I like the sleeves on this one much more than I liked on the other one and it is my size. I just don't know if I like this more than the other pieces. It is a pretty decent shirt to have and I think it would be, like I think this would look really cute with like white pants especially. Like they do look good with um, jeans. I, it would work. It's a black t-shirt it would work in my wardrobe and it would stay in my wardrobe because I feel like that's common I just don't know about the button down if that's going I don't have a lot of button down. okay and here is the last piece that I found today and it's this trench coat which I do really want to find one I just don't think like, it's too big <laughs> it's too big on me at the end of the day which is fine. I really think this might be the winner just after putting everything on this. I just don't know about the color guys. I'm not sure here, but I do think a trench coat, like this has been in style since forever and I don't have one. So, okay, here's me putting it on again. And like, to be honest, I think it could, like, I mean, I'm wearing black and jeans and I think it, it would go with this outfit. No, I'm kind of sold on it, even though I thought I was gonna go for more neutrals. Like, can this can this be a neutral? Am I, am I stretching it too much, guys? I don't know, but I do like it. And like, it's gonna be 50% off, so it's gonna be a really good price for a, a quality coat, in my opinion. Otherwise, I think this would be my next best. I did end up liking that one quite a bit. Look how beautiful this fur coat is. Literally gorgeous. I tend to look at the craft section every thrift store I go to and this is this is such a good find and I can't believe I'm gonna leave it behind, but like a 75% kid silk mohair. And they donated four of them. This is like, usually these go for like $10 a ball, which is crazy. I hope somebody can appreciate that. I just, I, I can't, I just have, I just had to share that I appreciate this and I hope somebody can enjoy this. I also like don't love mohair. I think it's kind of itchy. <laughs> I always like to look, that's a good find. Would this be a thrift yeah. with me if I didn't find purple faces? Look how pretty this one is. This one's such a deep purple. Guys, I love purple faces. And I can't believe how many there are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little thrift with me as I'm trying to my best to find a capsule wardrobe but limiting myself to only one item at each thrift visit that I go on, which is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be already. Only one video into it. But I bet you're wondering what I ended up getting even though I made it pretty clear. There was one item that really stood out amongst the rest of them and that was this absolutely beautiful jacket. This is a pretty like apple green button down jacket and I I love it. I think it is so so pretty and it's super unique and honestly I kind of like that it's green because I feel like it's just eye-catching. Like it's it's not gonna just blend in with everything. Like it's it's a statement 
but it can still be fashionable and it still can go with outfits that I have, especially like, again, the jeans, I thought it looked fine in and like any type of white shirt or black shirt, like a lot of those staple pieces that I already have in my wardrobe, I know this will work with it. And I just, I think it's, oh, it's gonna be so cool guys. I can't wait, like this is gonna be great in the spring and in the fall too, where like this is really all I need to take to stay warm but I work in a fairly cold office, so I usually have a jacket on every day anyway, so I feel like this is just gonna be a nice little accessory to add to it. I really like this outfit, and I would probably wear it soon. We have one of the items down, still have nine more items to go, nine more days of thrifting, which is crazy that that's how far we are away from the holidays. Anyway, I want to share with you guys the giveaway that I have going on. First of all, let me put here on the screen the winner of the five scrunchie giveaway. And I just want to give a huge thank you for commenting and liking and subscribing to my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And if you could please contact me on Instagram, I will have my Instagram down below. I will not reach out to you just to avoid any sort of like scamming. I would not ask for personal information from somebody, so please reach out to me. I have the Instagram down below. I'll see your direct message in my inbox. I really want to say thank you. I appreciate it all. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video, which should be literally tomorrow, which is crazy. Wherever you are, I hope you are having a great day and I hope that you're enjoying this season and I'll see you on the next one.